This is a Brooks Area Survey and Reconnaissance Vehicle. It's used to locate and identify chemical, radiological and nuclear hazards and it's crewed by members of Falcon Area Survey and Reconnaissance Squadron. We survive and operate in a chemical environment so the combat troops don't have to. So I'm the driver of this vehicle. I'm responsible for the maintenance, checking all the levels, fuel, etc. and that. And then obviously picking the route where we're going to go, try and get the safest route. These are really good cross country, they're very hard to get stuck. Um, they're quite quick as well, so you can cover open ground really quickly, which is good. It's sealed as such against the uh, outside elements, so you can survive in here as long as you have got food and water, and uh, it's all working properly. They effectively go into the area first, protectively in their Fuchs vehicle, and they mark out the extent and nature of the hazard that is present, and then that allows other people just to, to go around it, so you effectively yeah, allow them to survive. This is the prob. This is where we can get the chemicals from outside on the ground into the vehicle. And how it does it is a double wheel sampling system with these two wheels here, lift up, automatically touching the probe head, then goes back down, switches the floor, then the opposite one comes back up, switches the probe head again. And this is where we get the uh, system inside. We'll then allow them to tell us what the chemical is, and then we can then pass it up to the other regiments that are on the ground and tell them to either put on the protective equipment or, or it's okay. This is the MET sensor. We uh, measure everything from wind speed, temperature, humidity and air pressure. We need to know all those things because if we sense something on the ground, uh, it will be important where the wind direction is going to what effect that will have on the ground and the people that might potentially be affected by what that chemical is. If we don't do our job correctly, thousands of people could potentially get injured or die from other mistakes. So it's a um, lot, of, lot of pressure on our shoulders, which I think um, drives us and strives us forward. I'm Court Polaris and I keep the fucks running. Everything's done in old money, so everything's all imperial. Everything's all hand made still, I believe. Being a mechanic, it's hot and hard work anyway. Uh, inside the receiver end suit, you've got restricted movements and feeling as well, where you need some places you can't actually see what you're doing, so you have to feel, and through the gloves, you can't feel anything. So you've just got to go with practice and what you've learned. We've only been in this role since 2015, so we've been learning more and more about how we think we might be employed. Um, we've now got to a point where we're ready to be employed amongst other people and other capabilities as well. The Army has recognised the increased threat as a result of uh, events that have taken place both overseas and, and domestically. And they've stood up a new regiment, which is 2-8 Engineer Regiment, Count the CBRN, which we look forward to resubordinating to uh, in, in the next few months. And obviously we were recognised for our work uh, in support of Operation Morlock, which was the follow-up to the chemical attacks in Salisbury. Mm -hmm.